Okay, question 2.4 from paper 1 from Gauteng 2022 on reproduction in vertebrates, life sciences, grade 12, exam question. Okay, this is the question and the total is 8 marks. Okay, let's get started on the next slide. Okay, let me get the question. Question 2.4 from Gauteng 2022. Okay, this is the question. 2.4. The diagrams below show the internal structures of an amniotic egg after fertilization as well as the chick that hatched from the egg. Okay, this is the amniotic egg and this is the chick that hatched from the egg. Okay, now question 2.4.1. Name the type of fertilization that has taken place. Okay, one mark. 2.4.1. Name the type of fertilization that has taken place. You know, when you are dealing with a chicken, the male deposited the sperm inside the female's body. So that will be internal fertilization. Okay. The male deposited the sperm inside the female's body. You can see the image. Okay. So this will be internal fertilization. You know that. Okay. So the type of fertilization will be internal fertilization, not external fertilization, but internal fertilization. Now question 2.4.2 state the type of reproductive strategy, which is shown by the development of an embryo within an amniotic egg. One mark. Okay. You know, they want you to say whether you are dealing with ovipary or ovovivipary or vivipari. You know, in this case, you are dealing with ovipari. Okay, this is what they want you to say. The reproductive strategy. Okay, chickens are oviparous animals. Okay, so the reproductive strategy will be ovipari. Now, question 2.4.3. Identify the type of development that the hatched chick shows. One mark. Okay, which type of development is this? Is it altricial or precocial? You can see this is less developed. Okay. You are dealing with altricial development. Okay. Less developed. No feathers. They cannot move. The eyes are still closed. Okay. So this is less developed. Okay. Altricial development. Okay. Now question 2.4.4. If two functions of the amniotic fluid. Okay. You have the amniotic fluid inside the egg. Okay. Two marks. So the functions of the amniotic fluid, you know, the amniotic fluid protects the embryo against shocks and it also protects the embryo from drying out. Okay, so you can give this two, or you can also say protects the embryo from temperature changes or you can say allows the embryo to move freely during development. So the embryo can move freely inside the amniotic egg during development. Okay, so you have four of them. You can only give two. You are requested to give two functions. 2.4.5. Okay, explain how the size of the yolk sac affect the development of the chick in the diagram. Okay, this is less developed. Okay, altricial, less developed. Okay, so the yolk, which is the food supply, was smaller. And for this reason, the chick received less nutrient. As a result, the chick is less developed. Okay. You can see the chick is born less developed because the yolk, which is the food supply, was small. Therefore, the chick received less nutrient. As a result, the chick is less developed. Okay. So remember, in altricial development, the volume of the yolk is smaller as compared to precocial development the volume of the yolk is large okay until next time i will talk to you soon